Hello everyone and welcome to Project Wrong Way, a YouTube show based on an inept... Yeah. Not a YouTube what show. You welcome to Project... Oh, no, I can tell already. What did I say? Welcome to Project Wrong Way. Let's redo it. Fuck it. Yeah, that was, yeah, it I was just... Okay. Hello everyone and welcome to Project Wrong Way. A show about a restoration of a classic 1972 Toyota FJ40 Land Cruiser by an inept mechanic and his brother who have little to no experience on how to fix up something. The reason we're making this show is to display the everyman's attempt at trying to restore a vehicle like this. I see quite often the professionals that do it perfectly the first time and I'm here to tell you, especially with my lack of experience, that's not the case for 95% of the people out there working on these machines. So I'm here to show the wrong way, most every time. Hopefully not, but I can't guarantee that. A lot of ways people learn when working on a vehicle is through hindsight. They made a mistake, and in hindsight, they figure out what they're supposed to do. I'm here to give you the hindsight the first time. I'll make the mistakes for you, I'll spend the money for you, and I'll come up with a solution or find it on the internet for you. And I'll do a video about it so you can see how to fix it. Now you might be wondering or curious why I purchased the Land Cruiser. And essentially it's to escape the soul crushing grip of my daily driver, which is a 2012 190 horsepower, four cylinder, gray sedan Honda Accord which is a great, reliable car, but to be honest, it's the ginger of the automotive world. And to expound on that, it doesn't have any soul whatsoever. I drive that thing to work, I pray someone runs into me. When I park it with the keys in the ignition and leave it, I hope someone steals it, but I can't even count on the tweakers in this neighborhood that I live in to take that car, because they recognize that too. With any project like this, you're gonna have your initial problems you discover right off the bat, like when you try to turn it on and it won't do that, or it leaks oil everywhere. As the repairs take place, and as we fix things, there's gonna obviously other th small little things are gonna come up. More than likely, major big things are also gonna come up. We'll address that though. Again, we gotta stay the course, stick to the plan, make this a daily driver. So the first problem I noticed with the purchase of the Land Cruiser here, as you can see with the orange patina inside the engine bay, that's radiator fluid and it's everywhere. So there's a really good chance we have an overheating issue, more than likely a bad head gasket. Second issue I came up with or discovered was the hydraulic clutch fluid or the clutch fluid reservoir is leaking and the clutch fluid, which turns out insanely corrosive, has dripped down onto the floor pan and into my wiring harness. And as a result, I have no lights, no functioning electronics whatsoever. With any older vehicle, there's gonna be some leaks and things of that type. This one though is leaking about an oil change a week onto my uh, shop floor. So more than likely, the rear main seal is having some issues. Gonna have to fix that. Also an issue is the exhaust. Uh, there's a large crack in the exhaust manifold I heard and it appears from visual inspection that the entire system is completely rusted out. That's gonna need to be fixed as well. All right, so all the problems we discussed, we had an oil leak coming from the main seal, uh, the clutch reservoir is leaking, acidic fluid all over my wiring harness. Uh, I'm not sure how good the brakes are. We didn't even discuss that. Uh, we got a lot of problems here. So the first thing we need to do, and what any red-blooded American would do with their Land Cruiser, is lift it sky high. Button hook me. <laughs> There's a freshly coated paint, <laughs> except for underneath the hinges. That's fine. Oh, wow, this is the only way to Okay, I was thinking, I was hoping that'd be threaded so I didn't have to reach around the other side, some random 
black widow nest to try to loosen this. So fortunately, oh boy, I'm kind of scared what's gonna be uh, that I can hit with a ratchet wrench there. Get this other side, real close one. Gonna break. It broke. Do you hear? I said it was gonna break. Yeah, you called it. You know how I could tell? Because I was pushing too hard and I knew it was gonna break. Well, that's okay. You drill it out. Yeah, that won't take forever. So. So you're telling me this isn't factory? <laughs> oh, strip it. it out. Get it. No, I can't. I can't get it. It's like yeah. a CrossFit experience. I'll tell you, man. How did... This might be a longer episode than we thought. Yeah, this is going to be 10 episodes. Getting the hard top off, 10 episodes. <laughs> the first season is just getting the fucking hard top off. Season one, Yeah. taking the hard top off. Season one, how to do... Okay, so we got these two Phillip heads right here. This random loose bolt right there. Right? These guys, that guy, and then this guy, which is welded in by rust. So, we got that going for us. Super awesome. Yeah, I'm not desperate enough to go to the internet yet to ask for help, no. but. Yeah. I gotta get that bolt off. I might just cut it off, dude. I'm, part of me wants to just. This. This is, chisel right there? That is the problem. That's right a homemade there. bolt. That was done homemade. No way it That's is. not factory. Serious? Yeah, it's a you factory just, soft top link. You just forced it, forced it on there? The hell? Yeah, I think so. Huh. I'm just going to break it off. Hit it with a hammer. Yeah. Hammer is your best friend when dealing with vehicles. <laughs> Seriously, the best tool ever. I got an idea. A hammer fits anything. Let's do it the wrong way, Aaron. Yes, I, bro. I tried. I tried to undo it. I, I know that. Uh, when, if at first yeah. the right way doesn't work, try the wrong way. Okay. Well, maybe that loosened it up a little bit or something. Yeah, hit harder. Hit harder. <laughs> You see my arm? Am I flexing right now? Oh. oh no, I just went off off course there. Oh. Shoot. Dude, get it. Get you know it. what's get happening? I don't have a torch. Hey, get it. Dude, Here, right. I think it's I need to come down. Here yeah, we go. Hurt so bad. Gosh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I need a choke up. Ah, hopefully the the other problem now is that even if I were to change my mind, I've already I've damaged it so much. I got another idea. You ready? So we're gonna cut this janky screw out because uh, nothing else is working. And I don't have the right blade, so I have wood with nails. And technically this is like a it's nail. It's a nail. With, it's metal with nails. There we go. Or metal with screw. Yeah. Always wear eye protection, so. That's because we're working? using wood with nails. Yeah, it's not really cutting it. The, uh, what's it called, did better.
I just didn't want to have to kind of jerry rig these jump seats out until I could see a little bit better. Pick it up. Okay, pull it up, right? I'm not, I'm not pulling this up, but I'm like that. That's good. Shimmy. As soon as we get past this uh, spare tire carrier right here, at that point, Aaron is going to go get on this back edge. I'll take it up by myself. Leave some of the. <laughs> Pretty much. Split that. So you're trying to, you're trying to go right here, right here, probably. Well, once you get, once you separate it from the bottom, you can just put your hand right. Did you? Get everything squared away. Yeah, yeah. Do you want me to grab the, from the bottom of this? Yeah, once it's airborne. This, this so. doesn't look like it's too uh, stable. Is it? So no. here, push up on it. Okay. Just keep lifting. What the hell? There you go. Push up. 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 That's a two-person job. That's not too bad. Woo. You ever been to your gas station? No, the previous owner. <laughs> he did a bunch of other cool stuff too, like screw up the entire installation of our All right, so we ran into a couple of surprises, obviously. Uh, we were taking the top off, getting the wheels off, doors off, opening up the Land Cruiser for its operations, you know, the upcoming things we're about to do. One thing is fantastic. The, uh, they used a bicycle tire. You know, at least it looks like a thorn resistant tire or inner tube, excuse me. It's a bicycle inner tube for most of the weather sealing around the hardtop. And then because it did such a good job sealing out the weather, I have this bolt here. If you can feast your eyes on that. that that's 35 minutes of screwing around, sweating. And then once I heated it up to molten lava temperatures and it fell off, my youngest daughter, Winifred, reached over and picked it up and burned her hands. So <laughs> that's on me, but. All right, so next episode, lifting a mediocre four inches, which is most of us average males out there know is just the right amount of height on our vehicles. Also, we're gonna be powder coating the wheels, getting the new tires put on there, beautifying this Land Cruiser before we actually focus on things that are really important. So it's the American way.